the government bailouts are over, think again. With the feds now controlling the entire student loan market, taxpayers may soon be up on the hook for unpaid loans. Check this out. Barclays is warning that we may see a tsunami of student loan defaults through 2020, saying that the industry underestimated defaults by a whopping $225 billion. Euro-Pacific's Peter Schiff says that the government should never have gotten into this sector in the first place. Diana Carew of the Progressive Policy Institute says the government has to be involved. High school is not enough in this day and age. Peter, good to have you on the program, and thank you, Diana, for joining us. Why is this a bad idea, Peter? Well, you know, just like the government inflated a housing bubble, the reason that tuitions are so high is because government guarantees the loans. And now students take these guarantees and bid tuitions through the roof, take the government out of the equation, and the colleges and universities have to lower tuitions so students can afford to go. But the beneficiaries of these high tuitions are not the students. They get stuck with the debt. It's the colleges and the universities that can sell overpriced degrees. And unfortunately, right now, We've got a lot of people with college degrees, waiting tables, cleaning toilets, you know, driving taxis, and they have enormous government debt to pay back out of these small salaries that they earn. Yeah, yeah well, that's a good point. Diana, you're saying that the government has to be involved. Why? Because investment in human capital is never a waste of money. Of all the things that the government can spend their money on, entitlement programs, subsidizing the housing sector, human capital should never be sacrificed. And I completely agree that the college graduates today, especially young college graduates, have been hard hit by the recession, a recession they never predicted. And it's not fair to ask them to shoulder the burden alone. They have seen their wages fall by 15% in real terms over the last decade. Meanwhile, their debt has risen 25%. And it's completely unacceptable to suggest that every college uh, student uh, does not have the right to go to school. They should all have the opportunity to pursue an education. But, well, they, I mean, you know, look at these numbers. Barclays warning that we're going to see a tsunami of student loan defaults through 2020. So h how, how has the government been positive here? I think the government has a clear role to play here in the long term. I mean, look, we need to realize, and as soon as we all agree, that education is a social good, we'll all be better off. We need to invest in our future. We need to invest in the economy. And right now, the economy is the big problem. There aren't enough jobs being created for college grads, especially young college grads. So they are driving buses. They are hairstylists. And that's a big problem because they're taking, they're squeezing, essentially, young uh, non-college grads out of those jobs. And and then they're taking a pay cut that can't well, pay for their debt. And well, so the problem is, is having a low growth economy, we need the only yeah, way out of this is to educate let, kids let, and let, get let, them into jobs that are better paid. Let me, let me get a word in here because wasting money overpaying for worthless degrees is not going to help the economy. In fact, it no hurts the economy. No degree is worthless. You're oh, always oh, acquiring oh. skills. You're no, always no. acquiring skills. It's whether no. or not the jobs are there that you no, can a lot utilize of, those a lot skills. Of, a lot of the curriculum, a lot of the courses do very little to improve human capital. Look, plenty of people went to college before the government got involved. It just didn't cost nearly as much. People didn't graduate college with a mortgage. Now they do. I don't but the think problem colleges is, are setting prices based on how much students can take out of yeah, of course. No, no. They're, they're basing their prices on the fact that students can borrow money with government guarantees. If the government got out of the market... I think there's more to it than that. No, no there isn't. That's exactly the problem. I if disagree. The government, if the government got out of the market, students couldn't borrow money so cheaply. Interest rates would rise, and students wouldn't be able to bid up prices. Great. Colleges so then would, you, you get to decide who gets to go to college, and so only no, I, I students get to go to college. No, That's a would, very good message no, to send. It, it's, it's not up to the government to pay for everybody's college college degree and you don't have a right to go to college I mean people should go to college a I think if, everybody should have the opportunity to go to college and I don't think you should decide who gets to go to no, college I'm not and deciding it but, the gov but, by, but by subsidizing it they create this huge bubble do you think students are really better off I've had plenty of students on my radio show the biggest regret in their life is that they went to college because now they're stuck with an enormous debt I had one they're young stuck woman with a low innovation show. economy that's not creating no, no. the right type of job well, one and of the reason the, the reason they're not creating the jobs is the government is diverting all the capital to education of and it's not the going to businesses. all the government is spending money on, I hardly would suggest that no. human capital, I would be hard pressed it, no. to find somebody that would suggest that investing well, you, in college you, education is a bad investment. Yeah, you but found me. It's a loud
lousy investment. We, well, we are squandering our wealth. Well, you say that it's never a lousy investment, and when that's the yes, case, then we've got a real problem on no, our no, hands no. because the only not way everybody. forward, the only way to invest in our future is through education. No, not that everybody is the way needs to growth. Not everybody needs a college degree. This is what you're doing is playing into the universities and colleges. I'm not saying everybody needs a they college wanna, degree. They want to they want to exploit our kids. They should get to go to college. They should have no. that opportunity. But they but, have you know, the opportunity the without is, who's the government. For it? I mean, who's paying for it? I mean, our taxpayers Ultimately, once again on the on the hook here. Like well, with other things, like with entitlement programs, like with the housing sector, of all of the things that taxpayers would be on the hook for, I would argue that education is probably no, one of the least no. controversial. Oh, it is very controversial. And, you know, the, because of the government, today, a college degree is not worth the price that you pay for it. Not only in the cost, but the, that, the five or six years that, you, that, you, that, you, that you're not in the labor force. But if we simply got the government out of education, I, college tuitions would plunge. College I, would be forced I do to not compete. agree with that. Oh, well, I do let, not let's think basic economics. Economics. Think college. I think well, there's. The, I, I, I'm well aware of basic economics. Thank you. But I, I well, would argue you're that. Not. Yes, I am. Thank you. But I would argue that there's a lot more variables at play in a college. Well, no. College prices. It's, it's prices. As opposed prices to, are determined by supply and demand. If you take away the demand by taking away the guaranteed loans, colleges will have to stop building these fancy gymnasiums and and these fancy uh, you know off you know campus housings or the big restaurants, they'll have to cut prices, they'll have to cut the pay of some of their they'll administrators and bureaucrats. They'll have to cut their bureaucrats. faculty, they'll yeah. have to cut their technology, no. they'll have to cut their investment. No, Absolutely. they won't. Absolutely. No, no. Yes, they'll, they, they will. The technology will probably increase. Look, in the 1950s, students got great educations in college, yeah. and it didn't cost anything. Pe kids used to work their way through college, and they graduated debt-free with degrees. And there were jobs degrees. for them. I know. Right, you know and what, we're gonna we're gonna agree to disagree because what are these are all very very good points. Uh, thank you so much, Peter, Diana. Great conversation. <laughs> thank we appreciate you very you much. Laying, laying it all out for us. Uh, <laughs> thank for you.